C R I stands for Container Runtime Interface. C R I in the market we have different technologies like Docker, Container D, Cryo, Podman, and Cryo, Podman, RKT, Docker. But most popular guys, Docker. Okay, and how your application will look like in containerization? This is how the container one. Here I am not telling the guest operating system related information. C1, C2, C3, container 3, app 4, app 5, app 6. How we will manage the operating system related properties? How the things work? So how to give the information? What are the minimal in the thing? In the thing, how I need to know what are the minimal properties I needed for my application? Okay, to understand this, let me give one analogy. Okay, let me ask one question. Consider that you are planning to a trip to maybe mm, Canada, or maybe let's take some other cities like if in India. Consider that you are planning for maybe Kerala or any big cities. How you will pack your things? What are the things you need maybe in that trip? Yes, depending on weather. So, it depending on whether Iswar will take the bags, okay, and the cloths and then medicines and then uh, maybe the simple things like maybe its own shoes, all this stuff. Am I right? Okay. But in your cupboard, you have hundreds of cloths, you have your own room, you have your own cupboard, you have your own bed. Are you going to take that as well with you? How you will arrange those things? How you will get the bed? How you will get the room? You are going to book a hotel, maybe in the destination. Am I right? So, in containerization as well, what are the things needed we are going to pack in our application itself like the necessary items what are the packages needed to see my application in running state all the stuff i am going to package in one tarball in one executable and the remaining things like room like bed in trip scenario in trip analogy in application here in the application level all the stuff I am going to take from the, the kernel properties, operating system properties, all the stuff I am going to take help from the host operating system. Are you getting how the containerization works? What are the minimal in the things? Yes, your host operating system, shared libraries, yes. So every time you deploy your application, hey, Docker, I want to deploy one application, Docker. Yes. Okay, thank you, my friend. Here, you will request. Consider that you are deploying app one with its own binaries. All the stuff you have added in your application. Minimal things. The operating system, minimal packages. But all the kernel level packages you are going to take from the host operating system. The kernel properties. Okay, so who will help in that scenario? Docker, the CRI will help. Hey, Docker, I want these kernel properties. When you deploy any application, your application will talk with Docker. Hey, my friend Docker, we want to deploy this application. I want to see this application in running state. All the things which are needed, I have packaged. And I want to see this package to be in running state inside a container. Fine. Now, the Docker will talk with host operating system. Hey, host operating system, my application needs some kernel properties. Please help me with that. Now, the host operating system, hey, thank you, my friend Docker. I will help you in that scenario. Nothing to worry. All the things required, all the kernel properties required to see your application in running state is taken care by host operating system with the help of Docker. Are we good with this analogy? How the things works? Okay. So, how the container will look like? So, 
this is how your container you can think of a box and all the things which are related to your application yes we can able to create few application like flipkart and all yes you can able to run different different applications some application from flipkart some application from aws some application from different different players can we have different operating system in each container yes you can have one application with ubuntu one container with CentOS, one container with Fedora, one container with Debian, one container with Suda Linux. Yes. Yes, you can able to OS memory. You need to ensure your host operating system, the hardware will have the required memory. And you can able to restrict what your container, your application going to utilize. What is the limit for that? All the things you can able to configure. And any Windows container? For Windows container, you need to go with Windows machine. You need to install different set setup. Okay, you can't able to run Windows container on Linux. Linux container on Windows, vice versa. It is not doable. No. Okay, because the kernel itself, it is different. Windows will have different kernel. The Linux will have different. In Linux, we have different flavors like Ubuntu, Debian, Fedora, Kali Linux, Suza Linux, you can able to run all those flavors application in one operating system, in one host operating system. If you have planned for running Windows containers, you need to go with Windows machine. Yeah. So, this is how your container will look like. Now, this is how the things look like the computer, the operating system, whether it is a Fedora, Linux, Ubuntu, any operating system you have installed. On top of that, you need to install one CRI, Container Runtime Interface. Okay. And your application running inside a container with its own host name. Every container will have its own host name, its own IP address, its own disk size. You can able to, yes, with its own dependencies. App 2 running inside different container. Yes, with its own host name, with its own IP address and with its own disk size. So guys, this was our expert from Team K21 Academy. And if in case you want to have a deeper dive and want to build a career in Kubernetes and Docker, including DevOps, then we have something really special for you. We have our free class on mastering Kubernetes, Docker and DevOps that includes how to build in-demand skills and land a higher paying job. So for that, you just have to visit k21academy.com forward slash k8s02. You have to click on book your free seat now. And after that, select an event date according to your availability. Enter your name, your email address, your phone number and click on yes, save my seat. Moving ahead, you'll be seeing this kind of interface. You just have to save this link on the extreme right, add it to your calendars and I'll see you in the free class. Till then, take care and keep learning.